Hey guys, and welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. Uh, when we last left off, we got the solid gun, uh, I believe, and we've upgraded it heavily. Now, we were exploring this research facility area. Uh, we've wrapped up a few little bits and pieces, and I think it's time, just about, to have a little look through here. The ivy is wrapped around the door. You may be able to cut it with Dylan's machete. Yeah, let's do just that, shall we? Now, what have we got through here? I haven't played this game for like eight days or something, or nine days maybe. Um, ooh. I guess we can't kill these little guys. On the dead body, there are bite marks everywhere. It must have been attacked by a whole army of them. Oh, no. So, I've got some cool, useful... Um, tips from you guys, uh, especially the one from uh, the Games Guild. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Oh, hi, friend. We got a gobber. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there wasn't just going to be one now, was there? <laughs> yes, how the mighty have fallen. Alright, now we remember these things from Jurassic Park. Incidentally, this place kind of looks a little bit like Jurassic Park. Which is interesting. I'm not sure what sort of range they have on their gob mobility. Looks like we have a locked door there. I'm guessing that that's going to be something to do with... Um, oh, shit, that was close. That's going to be something to do with uh, Regina, maybe? Unless that's the way we actually need to go. Yes, keep the combo going. There we go. 17, 18. Come on, baby. Keep it going. Yeah, so I got a really cool tip from the Game Guild um, about how the combo system kind of works. So apparently you need to get, like, Six dinosaurs. Oh no. We just lost our combo and I think we got hit there as well. Oh, that sucks. Donkey dick. We get some different color ones here. Alright. Well, I mean, it's always a good idea to rack up some points, right? Yeah, so if you get six and finish the area you get the uh, no damage bonus. I believe he was saying, it's been quite a while since I read the comment. Uh, I did actually make a note of it, but I don't have my notebook here because I'm a stupid ass. And then uh, you get another multiplier, I believe if you get up to 10 and survive. So that's actually really handy to know. I was guessing that it was going to be, um, well, it's gonna have something to do with how many kills you got. Oh, God. Hello. These things are out here, too. That's kind of unfortunate. Actually. Alright. Any more? Yep. This gun seems to be doing a better job of locking onto the enemies here. Kind of. Anyway. Oh, man. That, um weapon does persist quite nicely. Alright, let's try and do this without uh, getting hit. I say that with the utmost confidence. I'm trying to work out where these guys actually use their long range attack. So, these areas don't actually have unlimited enemies. There definitely is a finite amount of them. Now, he did specifically mention raptors. So, whether it's dependent on... Oh, come on. That was bollocks. But I suppose I got greedy. Can't quite tell. Uh, where they're going to hit us, to be honest. Now, interestingly enough, I had another comment from uh, Reva. And he mentioned about these static camera angles, saying that they're actually bad for this type of game. 
And, you know, you're not wrong. For this kind of high-paced sort of action, it's very difficult to try and gauge where in the scene you actually are. So that makes sense. You can hear these things coming at you. And the lock-on system is kind of working here as well. I've noticed that he's swinging around a lot better. Okay, we're going to do one more run in here just to build up some points. We'll get some ammo. Um, I just need to get myself back acquainted with the combat system in this game, which, you know, it's, it's not hard or anything like that. Um, but I haven't played this for ages. In fact, all I've been playing, to be honest with you, uh, is Breath of the Wild. Because the switch is... Ah, oh, you dickhead. I was trying to move there, but that didn't work, did it? Okay. Now, the, so this weapon, like, I didn't like it when we first got it, but it's grown on me quite a lot, actually. I definitely prefer the um, dual submachine guns that Regina gets. They're just more fun. But this weapon, you know, it's... Oh, God, hello. I thought we were over. I thought we were over. You play me dirty like that, you fucking dinos. Literally. False sense of security right there. Yeah, you can hear them. Nope, that's our footsteps. It's slightly delayed when they attack you. With these guys. With the raptors, they were... Oh, hello. Didn't even see you guys. Or hear you guys, for that matter. Yeah. So each scene transition seems to have its own enemies. Which is curious. Alright. Well, let's go resupply ourselves. Get topped up on ammo. And uh, we'll call it there. Yeah, I've been itching to get back to this game. But, you know, I, I just haven't had time, sadly. And I'm going to turn my heater down a little bit because it's probably making quite a lot of uh, noise. It's finally getting cold again. You know, that's really weird. So we've bought all the weapons. Now, let's get... How many hemostats? We've got two hemostats. We can get... Uh, let's heal ourselves up before we do anything. Make sure we're lock, stock, and ready to rock. Uh, oh yeah, I forget the weird buttons of this game. Well, not that weird, I suppose. Um, just getting used to the fact that you have to push select to go into your menu. Which, can I say, for a PlayStation 1 game, pushing select to go into your menu system, that or your inventory, that's weird. That's not normal. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get some large... I mean, we can afford it, right? So, why not? And we can afford a medium as well. Was it? Yeah, it's the large that stops bleeding too. So, you know. Ah. Oh, no, it's the smalls we need. Yeah, because resus packs are only three grand. That's not that expensive though, is it? Like, once you get into a flow and you start grinding out some cash... It's rather easy to get money in this game. Uh, so we've got the shotgun, of course. We've got the flamethrower, and we've got that bad boy. Let's charge her up. Like so. Is it worth getting some more ammo for this thing? Uh, I don't know. What might be worth getting some ammo for is this. We need to kind of practice with this thing a little bit. Because it seems to be a bag of old ass, But maybe I'm just not using it right. Which, let's be honest with ourselves here, is absolutely a possibility. So, do we go with the machete, or do we go for, with this thing? Um, let's have a little look. Let's switch over sub-weapon. Let's use that. Because all this does is... I guess it makes like a fire shield, but... I. I don't know how useful that is. Maybe it's incredibly useful. Maybe we just haven't, um, you know, found its uh, working niche, so to speak. 
So let's drop one of those down. Any more of you fucktards coming? That's right. Oh, baby. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Come on. Oh, no. No, that's so savage. That's my fault. Oh, God, I suck. God, bro. Turok will be so disappointed in you right now. God. Yeah, okay. There doesn't actually seem to be that many uh, dinosaurs that spawn here. That game really needs to make a comeback as well. Turok. Like, come on, man. Turok. So we can go this way. Alright. But it looks like there's an overgrowth of plants. That's cool. No? Is it possible to kill all the dinos? Really? Well, that's bullshit. Alright. Well, I mean, hey, it, it is what it is. Uh, to unlock it, you need the research facility key. Wait. Hang on. Research facility keycard. We do have that, right? Uh, we do. Why don't you just use it if it's in your inventory? I mean, come on. Seriously. Make me stand here looking like a fool. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm doing a good job of that on my own. Ooh. Okay. So, what do we have here then? We're not having a lot of dinos. I was expecting to be, you know, having dinosaurs chewing my absolute asshole out right now. But it seems like they're giving it... Ooh. Giving us a bit of a respite. I'm guessing we can't use a machete to burn those doors. Yeah, that's going to be really tedious to have to keep swapping that out, isn't it? Yeah, that's tedious. Research lounge, eh? Let's go see if the coffee machine's still warm. Oh, looks like we've got a Oh! It's a save room, I guess. I wasn't expecting a save room, but, uh, okay. So, unable to carry any more. That's just a small anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Right, what's all this bullshit about? The cage is unlocked. For some reason, there is a metal spoon placed inside the cage. Will you open the cage? Um, sure. Um, there's something else in the cage. You found a new dino file. All right. Cosmogathis. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what that is. Uh, pretty jaws, 1.2 meters, 1.5 meters high. Commonly known as a compi. Their diet consists mainly of insects. They're tiny dinosaurs. They're typically no threat to humans. They move in packs and their social life revolves around their pack. Now, they say they're no uh, threat to humans, but I've seen, what was it, Jurassic Park 4. These things are nasty, especially in a pack. It's when they started nesting in our research facility is when they became a nuisance. Their eyes appear to be similar to that of the birds. We speculate that when they detect small shiny metallic things, it is their behavior to take it back to their nest. It is uh, This behavior has frequently caused problems inside our facility. Combat notes. No real notes have been taken since they do not directly inflict harm to humans. However... We're thinking of ways to stop them from stealing small belongings from the soldiers. Well, I mean, if they're that much of a problem, just exterminate them. Surely. It's a terminal used by the doctor. It won't power. There's no way to know what kind of data is stored here. Well, that's rather unfortunate now, isn't it? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, what else do we have here? The jungle vegetation has intruded inside, forcing themselves through the wall. Ah, uh -huh. all right, cool. Uh, March 25th. Lately, many of our guys have reported missing belongings, especially smaller items such as hand mirrors and watches. Just the other day, my silver rocket... Silver rocket? Silver rocket? Followed the same fate. There are rumours that in it's the handiwork of a tiny dinosaur. 
It's got a real jivey name like Compi or something. Yeah. There you are. April 3rd. Today I heard an interesting story. Crows and other birds have a peculiar behaviour of collecting shiny things. It appears as though these compies may have similar behaviours. Come to think of it, all the missing items were all shiny things. They seem to have a lot of similarities with birds. It could be that they are their ancestors. We haven't been able to capture any of them since they are so quick on their feet. But if we use their behaviour to our advantage, then maybe... We used the cage for laboratory animals and we were finally able to capture one of them. We used Alan's bracelet as bait and cornered him in. The key to capturing them is to block all possible escape routes. Even if there is a small escape route, they will not enter the cage. Our plan is to use this cage to get rid of them as fast as we can. The raptors who eat them for snacks have started to roam around this area. Compies, what a nuisance. There are still two more weeks until the general research staff can move into Edward City. Until then, we have to do our best to protect this facility from dinosaurs. Right, okay, so I guess it's just getting overrun by compies. Um, which, yeah, I, that, that sounds pretty unfortunate, you know, if it's attracting the raptors too. So what's this? A terminal to open and close the ventilation hole. Will you? Oh, yeah. Right, we got to chase one of these little fuckers around, haven't we? Yes, yeah, I can see that happening. Okay, so. Although. So if there's a single escape route left over, it won't go into the cage. Can we only lock like one of these at a time or something? No, 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 it looks like both of them are down. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll have a look around, see what we can find outside. Okay, so there was an... Ah, this door's locked. The electronic lock is activated. To unlock it, you need the research facility card. We actually have that, but there was a door back here that I think we can go in, so let's go and check that bad boy out. Yeah, right, okay, so we can see these gates are shut here. Uh, oh, there's another gate there. The ventilation hole is open. You cannot operate it from the side. Bullshit! Oh, I bet the little fucker's in there, isn't he? That's why. Power source room. Ah. A lot bigger in here than I thought, okay. Ooh. Dinosaur has built a nest here. Better not disturb it. Yeah, probably a good idea. Not like in Turok, where you can waste the eggs and make the dinosaurs pretty angry. Yeah, we don't... Ooh, hello. We don't want to make the dinos angry here. Uh, researchers' records. The recovery of the time gate seems impossible with the lim limited instruments we have in this world today was supposed to have been the last hopeful experiment however the lack of instruments stopped us from conducting this experiment uh i've lost where we are Right, page two. one week ago the transport team led by lieutenant wolf we've heard that name before was supposed to bring us the instruments uh, for the experiment. They never arrived. Something must have happened in the military facility. We still haven't been able to establish communication with them. If we still intend to pursue with the experiment, we need to go up to the missile silo on the other side of the suspension bridge. But the bridge was destroyed in a recent combat. The only other way to the other side is through the deadly poison zone. Well, we've cleared that. Uh, it's too dangerous to even go near the area. Right. But we need a gas mask before we can go uh, through that. Hang on. Ah. Hello. I guess there's another door. That was actually quite slyly hidden. I didn't even notice that. Uh, what have we got here? I guess a whole load of nothing. All right. 
I do like these scenes. They look really cool. It is a bit strange, though, that we went from these pre-rendered backdrops uh, from the, well, to these um, static backdrops from the pre-rendered ones that we had in the original game. Um, so, we've got another room with dinosaur eggs. It's a terminal used by the doctor. It won't power. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. Right, so we can uh, shut these. Is it wise shutting these now? Oh, right. We've come full circle. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I guess that only leaves one area to go then. So we haven't, oh, we haven't bumped into a little compy yet. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to go into key items. Don't like that. Ooh. Hey, that's mine. Oh, you little shit. He took our key. Ah, uh, I thought he was, hang on. I thought he was going to have something that we needed. You... L oh. And we can't just, like, fry his ass. Right, I guess... Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone through there. Oh, uh, we're not going to be able to shut this one off, are we? So he's constantly going to have, like, one area. Little bugger. Oh no, we can shut that off. <laughs> Where are you? Come here, little bastard. God, what a dick. Okay, I never thought we'd be chasing a little pet dinosaur around. Ah. Right, I guess what we've got to do then, we've got to funnel it towards the cage, but we can't give it too many options. Um, okay. Oh, that's gonna, this is going to be a nuisance, isn't it? This is going to be a huge nuisance. Where are you? Right, he's in here. Oh, fuck. Okay, and enemies, apparently. Why is my controller not working? Thank you. Right, so he's stuck out here. Oh, good God. Really, dude? Frickin' really? So we want to open that. And push him through there. There's like frickin' dinosaurs out here now. When did that happen? Does that mean there's going to be dinos out here now? Right, let's try and push him through here. But we're going to have dinosaurs out here again, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. Of course we are. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh, you little... They can get on your back. That's awkward. Right, okay, there's him. Okay. So, we need to chase him. He's hiding in there. The ivy found its way through this hole. Me. Oi, right, go this way. Come on. Wait, he tripped me up? This fucking ninja dino. Come on, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Look, there's one way to go. Are you really not going to take the bait? Why are you not going in that hole? What am I doing wrong here? So he...
Like, he's literally teasing me. He's shaking his asshole at me. That's not cool. There we go. Good. Got you, you bastard. <laughs> All right. Hey, friend. You're trapped in this room now, aren't you? Good. So we need to open that one. And we need to make sure... Oh, God. Is there dinos in the lounge now? Maybe. No. No dinos in the lounge. Yeah, it kind of um, makes me laugh how there's, like, no dinosaurs anywhere. Then all of a sudden, dinosaurs! Because, fuck you. All right. Where are you, squeaking git? God, this would be so much easier if we could just put our boot on the thing's neck. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of there, you little bitch. Really? What do you... Dude. Device which controls the feed of the power to all the instruments in the facility used for experiments. It's now on auxiliary power, but there's not enough power to operate it. Unfortunate. Right, okay. Ah, oh, he's. We need to, like, herd him towards this area. But it's jank as fuck. Alright, go on. That's it, Dino. Yes, yes. Yeah, keep going. That's it. There you go. Good boy. Ugh. What a bastard. Right. <laughs> All right. You, sir, are about to have a bad time. You're going to be stuck in a cage for the rest of your existence. I like the way you can hide under tables and stuff. It's actually quite cool. Go on. In you go. There we are. Oh, and he actually slides it out for us. That's very kind of him. You got the research facility key card. Excellent. Yeah, lock that little bastard in there. Jeez, man. That was something. Uh, I guess you just need to constantly be on your toes with this game. Uh, in regards to the dinosaurs. Like, you literally never know. Yeah, we'll take the med pack. We'll have it. We'll have them. Yeah, you literally never know what's going to happen in this game. Like, one minute. Like, we might come back here later on and this area might be completely and utterly flooded with dinosaurs. We don't know. We might have an area that's full of dinosaurs and all of a sudden, um, there are no dinosaurs there. Because we've killed them all. Game's not really clear on that kind of stuff. But we're learning as we're going through. We're learning. So, anyway, guys, I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, I guess we're going to go back through that door. As long as some other little dickhead doesn't try and uh, put his hands in our pockets. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.